hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kinesthetic with the kinesthetics and i'm here with you guys today with a new video So today's video is going to be my favorite fall lippies for the fall 2021 season. I did this video last year. So if you guys didn't see the video I did last year, check it out after watching this video. But this is basically a continuation. This is like a part two. So I decided not to repeat any of the lippies I told you guys in my video from last year. This year, I'm bringing out a new new, okay? These are lippies that I have been obsessed with. Lippies that I plan to bring out time and time again this fall season so if you guys are interested in seeing what my favorite fall lippies are for this year then go ahead and keep on watching before we get started do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below because we're doing big things over here okay i'm giving out a whole fall series on my youtube channel so if you guys are into fall fashion for makeup, for this, for that, autumn here, autumn near, then make sure you guys subscribe and tune into my uploads. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts, comments, questions, opinions, anything that's on your mind after watching today's video, drop it down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, of course, I wanted to address today's look. So this is actually the first video I'm recording since I took my butterfly locks down. But my hair is in a twist out. I did my regular Douglas twist out. I'll link that video down below and up above for your reference. But same old twist out. My lashes are the style Baps from MBK Glam. I don't believe she sells these lashes anymore. So sorry, but these were honestly one of my favorite lashes after I graduated from college. They're just so... Oh my god. My face, I tried some new things with my makeup today, so I'm going to see how I feel about it. But so far, I like it. Lippy, none, because we're going to get it popping. And my accessories, I just have on these two bracelets from Zara. I'll see if they still have them. I'll link them down below. And then I have on my watch. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the lippies. So all of the items mentioned in today's video will be linked down below. I'll also be sure to call out the items that are black owned so that y'all could know. But this first combo, y'all, I have been loving. I've been wearing it since I picked up this lip gloss. If you guys watched my last week's vlog, Sunday's vlog, I got this lip gloss and I've been obsessed with it ever since. This is the Morphe lip gloss in the shade Free Bird, you guys. This lip gloss, this lip gloss gloss is absolutely stunning and whenever i wear it i do pair it with cork from mac cosmetics so i'm gonna go ahead and line my is it really a video if the hood ain't hooding but i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my cork lip liner Lips are lined. Now I'm gonna go in with Freebird from Morphe Cosmetics. You guys, this lip gloss is also only $10. I wanna say that before I forget to mention it because when I tell y'all that y'all need this lip gloss. So this is one layer. Real cute, but what I like to do and what I love about this lip gloss is that it is buildable. So I like to put on three layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my three layers on. Here's two. And baby, here is three. So good. It's so creamy. It's so moisturizing. This color, I don't have anything like it in my collection. So <laughs> when I tell y'all that this is about to be my new go-to lip gloss, this is about to be my new go-to lip gloss, okay? It is woman of color friendly. It just looks stunning. I am in love with it. So this is a lip gloss I've been using. So if you guys have been watching my Instagram stories and some of my YouTube videos, I'm not sure if they'll be out before or after this one. They're the lip gloss right here, right here. So next up, I have another, we could say like a lip gloss. It's in between the lip gloss in a lipstick that's how i would explain it it is cookie jar from fenty beauty this is their gloss warm cream and y'all this lippy has never done me wrong no matter what hairstyle i have in no matter what occasion i'm going to this lippy <laughs> 
she got my heart with this one and i love this lip because i don't have to wear a liner with it Perfect for the fall season. Perfect. Perfect for the fall season. Seamless. Gets the job done. Looks good with so many different looks. So stunning. I'm in love. And honestly, I have been reaching for my gloss foam cream so often that I don't even know which one my favorite is. But cookie jar for the fall season, this is my girl. This is my girl. I love Fenty's gloss foam creams because they are so comfortable. They're not like a sticky gloss. They get the job done. Like they give you a lot of shine. They give you like plumpation of the lips. I feel like when I wear this lippy, my lips look fuller. I don't know if it's just me. But the gloss foam creams are making my lips look real juicy. And I'm here for it. But this color, the formula, the shade, the fact that I don't have to wear a lip liner. My girl. Okay, so next up is a lippy from one of my favorite black-owned beauty brands, Mentic Cosmetics. This is their liquid lipstick in the shade Blood Orange. Yeah, first of all, Mentic Black with the formula of these liquid lipsticks. They are amazing. They do not even feel like you have on a matte liquid lipstick. The results, amazing. The wear, <laughs> they really black. And I need to see more colors in these matte liquid lipsticks mental cosmetics because these are so good like do y'all see this do y'all see this so this is blood orange from mental cosmetics this lippy dries down so quick it feels like powdery on my lips it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel like it's sucking the moisture out of my lips it just feels so comfortable i absolutely love it so right now i don't have it on with the lip liner so i'm 100 percent here for wearing this with no lip liner i may want to add a lip liner so if i do add a lip liner to this lippy it would be chestnut from mac cosmetics because <laughs> bae and i just love the contrast between like the chestnut and the blood orange but don't put too much like don't go ham on a chestnut just a little bit and you got it you got it girl this color is perfect for the fall season it's like a nice brownie orange color i don't have anything like this in my collection i have not found anything like this since getting this liquid lipstick so she's a staple in my collection whenever i wear her people are like what color is that because it doesn't look like it has such a unique coloring what brand you know is giving us a lippy like this what brand you know because men's cosmetics did their thing with the formula of the color of this liquid lipstick it's perfect 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 for the fall season and i would highly recommend the next lippy comes from men's cosmetics as well and it's also from their sangria liquid lipstick collection this is the shade blacker the berry at this point, after I put this on, y'all better click that link down below and order the whole collection. Because when I tell you guys that Mentic Cosmetics went off with this collection, they went the fuck off, okay? And one thing I love about these lippies too, is that they're buildable. So what I'll do, if it's not like as full of a coverage that I want to my desire... I'll just wait for that first layer to dry and then I'll go back in and apply another layer. And they blend amazingly, so. I love that this lippy gives us options. So if you want more of like a sheer matte look, you get that. If you want a matte, matte, full coverage look, you could get that too by building her up. So to me, this color is like a purpley ready wine color and it looks so good this is with no lip liner this is with this is with this is with no lip liner looks so good feels so comfortable powdery oh my god like my lips 
feel amazing. My lips feel so good. Like, it don't even feel like I got nothing on. And to me, these Mentic Cosmetics liquid lipsticks don't bleed to me. A lot of liquid lipsticks, especially if you use them without a lip liner, they tend to like bleed on like off of your lip line throughout the day. Meant it, you ain't got that. It stays in place, okay? She knows where she was placed, she knows where she belongs, and she does not move. She listens to instructions, and we love that. I don't want to take this liquid lipstick off. Like, I look, I took my little cute content, and I'm like, I don't want to take it off because I have to record another video after this one. So, I'm trying to. So the next lippy that I have been loving, especially for the fall season, is another black owned product. It is the Lip Bar Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rebel. Whenever I wear this, guaranteed compliments, okay? Guaranteed what you got on, guaranteed heart eye emoji, guaranteed everything, okay? So let me go ahead and put her on once again i don't use a i pretty much don't really use a lip liner with any of like my burgundy lippies just because the ones that i have that i love that i'm showing you guys the ones are amazing for application and also i just feel like they look good on their own so i don't be i don't be doing nothing okay if i ain't gotta do nothing i ain't gonna do it Y'all might be like, this looks just like the last one. I don't know how it's showing off on camera. But this Lippy Rebel from the Lip Bar is more of like a red wine versus like a reddish purplish wine that we just saw in the Mented Cosmetics Black of the Berries. I just wanted to point that out because I don't know how it's coming off on camera. But in person, two completely different colors. Okay, honey? Two completely different colors. So this is Rebel from the Lip Bar, you guys. This Lippy... It looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Melissa and her team really did their all with this lip. Because when I tell y'all that this lippy looks so freaking good. And not only does it only look good on me. It looks good on every skin tone. And that's one thing I really appreciate with the lip bar. Is that when they do their marketing. When they show products. They show how it looks on a fair skin woman. A medium tone woman. A deep dark woman they show how it looks on different skin tones so as a consumer you can go ahead and see okay boom this model looks similar to me how does it look on my skin tone because one thing I don't like and I don't understand why we still have to discuss this in 2021 is when brands only show their product on one skin tone if I'm not that skin tone how am I gonna know how it looks on my skin tone unless people do like you know reviews on youtube or instagram but the brand should have those resources for me i'm giving y'all my money so make that investment and show me how this lippy will look on different skin tones so i really appreciate the fact that the lip bar does that they understand the assignment they complete the assignment time and time again and they definitely did with this lippy rebel because this is one of my favorites for the fall season okay And the next and last lippy that you guys will see me using and abusing this fall season comes from the brand Lime Crime. This is in the shade Wicked. I got this lippy from Forever 21. In case you guys don't know, Forever 21 carries Lime Crime. So compared to the previous two that I showed you guys, Wicked is more of a sheer finish. I mean, it is buildable, so you could go ahead and put like five layers on and get that full coverage look. But Wicked, to me, is something I will use for layering. So this is how it looks on its own. And what I would do is I would take my Fruit Snacks Gloss Balm Cream from Fenty Beauty and... Put that baby right on top. Boom. And you have a nice glossy fall cherry lippy in love. So these are my fall lippy suggestions for fall 2021. These are lippies that I've been loving. These are lippies that you guys are going to see me wear time and time again on my vlogs, on my Instagram feed, on my Instagram stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite lippy from this video is. Also, comment and let me know what your favorite fall lippy is. Leave that in the comments down below. 
as I mentioned, everything included in today's video will be linked down below. So if you guys are interested in any of these lippies, you guys can shop them through my links in the description box. So make sure y'all do that or whatever. And also, if you guys do plan on picking up any of these lippies, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram, hashtag me at Kinesthetic underscore so that I can see you guys in these qualm amazing lippy colors, period. So that's all I have for this video. Before you guys head out, make sure you guys subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later.